Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your What's Up Wednesday reading. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Okay, so Sag, uh, let's jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Sagittarius with a clear and concise message from you. So we have on the board, I don't read reversals. Well, none of my cards should be reversed, but this came out reversed. The Three of Swords in reverse. The Four of Cups upright. King of Pentacles upright. So we'll leave the Three of Swords in reverse. All right, so it looks like you're coming out of, you know, a stagnant time, a heartbreaking time, a, a time of indecision, maybe where your heart was torn. You didn't know who to choose or what to choose or what to do or how to go about it. Um, but even though you come out of that energy, you might be in an energy of you might feel like you missed an opportunity or this is how somebody feels with you. They feel like they missed an opportunity. Uh, with you they've missed out on a blessing that was you or vice versa this is you and how you feel about someone else could be a cancer could be uh libra someone libra in their chart cancer in their chart could be someone's capricorn virgo taurus it could be anybody but the thing about it is um there's some inner conflict in terms of uh what you want to do and what you should do uh you don't know if you if the opportunity is still presenting itself to you or if you've missed the boat. Um, you're at a place of despondency where you're just not even entertaining anything or anyone else right now because you, you are kind of mourning this opportunity, this person, this place, this thing, whatever it is. Um, some of you... You're not in decide. You're not in a place of indecision about maybe separating from a job and starting your own thing anymore, or separating from something or some way of making money or doing something any or communicating. Some of you want to come out and not communicating with somebody too, but you don't even know if they will accept you, accept your offer or whatever you're offering. Some of you, you could have missed out on this person or this opportunity because you were too con concerned with with another person or with the whole. Let's say if you were dealing with a lot of people, you were concerned with the group, with trying to make the group happy. And you weren't, you didn't individualize anybody, definitely not this particular person, place, or thing. So it might have slipped through your fingers. It, 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 it is gone or... Um, you have to do a lot to try to grill it back in, to bring it back in. Right now, you're doing a lot of, um, like, a, to, you're internalizing everything. Or somebody is internalizing everything in regards to you, to where it's making them take no action and do nothing. Um, somebody's just really moping and going over what they should have done what they could have done what they didn't do will this person take me back what are they doing this person is in a place of just really um being too self-centered so where they can't even see what's in front of them and it might be an opportunity for them to make amends or to come back to somebody also some relationship situationship whatever could have broken down because there it was opposing wills opposing goals like you got you both didn't have the same goal for the relationship like someone could want to get married or be more in a committed uh relationship or take it to the next level whatever that may be and the other person didn't want to do that they don't want that they want several people but maybe this person or this thing withdrawing itself from you is putting you sad in a place where you have to put the spotlight on you in terms of what this thing meant to you because it is putting you in a place where you're in your emotions about it to where you're contemplating what you can do to bring it back or reel it back or this is what someone is doing about you Sagittarius what can I do to bring them back to reel it back in because um I do have some emotions for this person but I was too concerned with social activities being social other people having people compete and fight for me having a rotation of people or a rotation of things i was not focused therefore i didn't 
I lost something or I lost the opportunity. Um, this could even be in business and finance or a career. Um, so focused on all of these different things to where you were focused and you were to where you didn't do any of them right. And then you lost maybe a prime opportunity because your focus was everywhere. You were scatterbrained. The King of Pentacles here says that um, there could be some a man in your life or there's somebody in your life that can give you some um, some guidance, some um, advice. This will be more financial advice or more career advice. But there's somebody here, here who could give you advice. Um, also, the advice here from the cards is that project, that thing, that idea is waiting. So something is waiting for you. It's just like you won't go after it because you think you've lost it already. Wow, it says get after that. The world has your back. So whatever it is you need, you are thinking about or thinking about being moved to do, go after it. It can work for you. Um, Put yourself out there. Don't be too focused on yourself and what you bring to the table, what you didn't do, what you don't bring. Just do it. Be like Nike and just do it. Um, let the chips fall as they may, okay? So Sagittarius, this is your reading. If it resonates for you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel um, by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Saj. Many blessings to you.